Hey, what's going on guys? This is George Geptuned. I would like to show you another product for Genesis 5.0, Kia 5.0, Hyundai Genesis 5.0 owners. So this is intake air temperature relocation kit that I fabricated as a plug and play solution. So let me give you a short information why you should be getting this relocation kit from me and what does it do at all for your vehicle is it tuned or not tuned it doesn't matter you need to have this and i will explain you why whenever your car is running let's say average outside temperature is 90 degrees and your engine bay is hot as hell the intake air temperature sensor that is uh installed from the factory is combined with a manifold pressure sensor and it is located and sitting right behind of the intake manifold which results reading of false high intake temperatures because your intake manifold is getting heat soaked and the intake air temperature reading is skyrocketing uh 140 degrees 150 degrees 130 degrees fahrenheit which is ridiculously high and is false so what you're gonna do is get this relocation kit which con co contains my wiring harness which is absolutely plug and play it plugs into the factory uh sensor location it plugs into the harness and you have separate intake air temperature from uh coming from uh, your existing wire harness so what you're gonna do is plug this guy right in to your harness install the sensor in an intake pipe or intake air box and just forget about it what this sensor will do is give the ecu actual air temperature reading the correct temperature reading which will make your car perform better and consume less fuel and why is that when the ecu is reading high intake air temperature it is automatically going to safe mode which uh, results adding way more fuel that engine is required and secondary uh, ecu is retarding the ignition timing which results weaker performance and less engine power output and that's what you're gonna avoid by relocating intake air temperature so whenever the ecu is reading correct air temperature and it is not hot outside uh, the ECU will make your engine run as it should so it will not reduce the power it doesn't matter is your car tuned or it is absolutely stock this will affect on your vehicle's performance straight away because for example when you're cruising at night and uh, if you data log and monitor intake air temperature it is ridiculous high for, for instance you may have uh, ambient temperature like a 75 and the intake air temperature at night may be 110 degrees, 120 degrees. Because, as I said, intake air temperature sensor is located on the intake manifold from the factory and it is getting heat soaked and is reading false high intake air temperature. So, this is where my plug and play kit comes into play. And you probably will ask, how shall I install it? What do I need for that? It is very very easy all you need to do is unplug the factory connector from your map sensor plug between your map sensor and the wiring harness this guy right here and then put this sensor in front of the throttle in intake pipe or in intake air box it's totally up to you and now let's move to the interesting part i'll show you how to actually install this part on your vehicle it is really really easy you don't need any tools for the uh, plugging in the uh, harness but you will need a drill bit to drill the hole for the sensor in an intake pipe or um, intake air box the drill bit is not included in the kit all you will uh, get is this what you see in a video this right here it is uh, pretty well hand built product with a high quality silicon wires silicon wires because 
they do not get dry under the high temperatures and uh, uh, they will not wear out and they will not fall apart. This product comes with a one year limited warranty. If something will happen to the product and it will fail working, you will have warranty. You can send it back and get a replacement, but the warranty does not cover the user error or any faults caused by, the, by user wrong installation or force applied to the connectors or sensor, etc. So physical damages are not covered by warranty. All right, let's go to installation part. Open the hood. Here is your 5.0 engine. So. What you're gonna do is first of all remove the cover by pulling it up like this. Here we go, the cover is removed. Actual MAP sensor and intake air temperature sensor are located in one sensor on this engine right here behind of intake manifold. Here it is, I'm pointing with the finger. So this is a manifold pressure sensor, which has an air temperature sensor inside. And what is happening with this engine is when the engine gets pretty warm and hot, the intake manifold gets hot as well as manifold air pressure sensor and air temperature sensor gets really, really hot here as well. So the manifold gets heat soaked, the air temperature sensor sees really high intake air temperature and what the engine control unit does at that point is it is adding way more fuel than engine is required and retarding ignition timing because ECU sees that uh, intake air temperature is really high and is trying to reduce the timing add more fuel to be on a safer side which at the end of the day results you in higher fuel consumption and reduced engine performance. So for this reason, I came up with my plug and play kit for this particular engine, which can be found in Hyundai Genesis 5.0, uh, Genesis G80, G90 5.0, Kia K900 5.0, Ecos 5.0. Engines are the same. Maybe plastic covers are different, but the engine itself and the sensor itself is same. So here is a kit that I made specifically for this vehicle. And here's what you're gonna do. You need to leave it on the side, first of all. You need to locate, you need to locate the connector on this sensor, which is right behind of this uh, wiring. So there's a connector. Let me unplug it quick. I had a, another intake manifold in my room sitting. So I will show you here. So this is a manifold pressure sensor that is sitting on back of the intake manifold. And this is a connector where the factory harness is sitting like this. So I'm, I'm just showing you how it looks like so you had an understanding what you need to do. So here is a plastic uh, sitting which holds a wiring harness. So under that harness is sitting this connector. All you need to do is push the finger on here and pull it back, okay? So it, it will not be that easy to pull it back, but keep in mind, before you press this one, press the connector in so this guy right here release a bit and then press this lock here and pull it back okay so with that movement you can easily unlock it if you will try to if you will try to just press it you see it does not unlock you need to press it in push it and then pull out okay so once you do it so imagine we have the factory sensor here, factory connector here. What you're gonna do is take my kit adapter and put the female connector here. 
and the factory harness goes right here. Sorry. Goes like this, okay? Do not mix it. Like you can plug it only one way. If you feel that you're plugging in and it doesn't go, don't force it, okay? Just turn around and connect it and it will plug in straight away. And that's it on the back of the engine. So let's get back to the car. I will show you what to do next. Okay, so again, we are on the back of the manifold. And as I said, you need to press the connector in, push the lock and then pull out. And here is a factory connector, okay? So what you're gonna do now is here is my plug and play kit, which has a intake air temperature sensor with a connector on it. You just take another part of the kit. You plug this guy, this side into the sensor and this side into the harness. Okay, I plugged in uh, into the sensor. I plugged in the wire wiring harness. And now, I have this sensor hanging here. So now I have the sensor hanging here. What I'm gonna do is run the sensor like this. So I ran the sensor harness under here, you see? And it has enough length to reach the air box, to reach the intake pipe, throttle, whatever you want. So it is totally up to you. It is totally up to you where you plug it in. So you want to plug it in a box, you can plug it in the box. My recommendation about where to install the sensor is I would install it as far from the throttle and engine as possible. So my personal choice would be either in an intake pipe here or in, in an air box, or if you're running aftermarket intake somewhere close to the air filter, okay? So this sensor should be getting fresh air and measuring fresh air temperature that goes to the engine. So it should not be getting warmed up by engine heat, etc. So what you need to do is drill a hole either in a pipe or in an air filter box and just screw it in. It is not necessary to be like a dead tight there as long as it is sitting inside of the box or sitting inside of the pipe, that's what you need. Basically, that's it. Okay, I want to show you guys, after a very short drive, what the intake air temperature looks like. 138 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna unplug the factory temperature sensor and plug this in. Ambient temperature sensor now is 92 93 degrees outside so let's see what it will read now meanwhile before i plug in look at the time here so nobody said that i let the engine cool down and one more very important thing whenever you are disconnecting a stock uh, connector from the map sensor you need to press this right here to lift the lock no matter what, do not pull a connector with the wires, okay? Pull fr from this place. Don't pull through the wires because you may pull out the wire and damage the connector. And you will end up uh, getting yourself into a trouble. That's it. So sensor was changed one minute. It actually took a few seconds. So sensor is here, plug it in, engine is running. And it is 90 degrees Fahrenheit, as you see, intake air temperature. So this is actual correct reading. So when you plug it in, 
and install it somewhere here it will read the actual air temperatures that flows inside of the engine not the temperatures that is from the manifold because the manifold is so damn hot that you cannot touch it so this is a really nice demonstration how this thing works and what it looks like and what are actual numbers compared to stock so thank you very much stay tuned so i hope you enjoyed my video and uh, if you liked it please hit the subscribe button and the bell to not miss uh, new videos thank you very much for watching me and being by my side i try to support genesis community as much as i can you can see my other video for the traction control disable module which is really really effective and must have product for the any uh, car enthusiast that owns genesis and uh, yeah i'm also working for another interesting product an aftermarket product for uh, this 5.0 engine which will be coming up on the next few weeks stay tuned for more and thank you very much i almost forgot the most important part of this story the cost so i will be offering this relocation kit for the 89 us dollars which will include the free shipping all around the united states and for the international customers and international orders the cost will be 110 dollars including shipping all around the world so all you need to do is go to the description of this video and find a link to the actual product to my website www.gptuned.com and go ahead and place your order today till i'm sold out i will be also commenting one thing there is probably one or multiple persons who are sitting right now at the uh, computer or at the phone or watching this video and saying oh i can do it cheaper i did it for 40 bucks myself so here is the thing I'm offering a hater pack for you guys and I'll be posting a link down in the description to go ahead and uh, get all the information you need how to uh, assemble, how to order, or what connector to order, what sensor, what wire, what length and all the information you need to do it yourself will be linked down below under the hater pack. So feel free and go ahead and do it yourself if you are handy and if you can do it, everything yourself correct way. I will be more than happy to see people actually performing their own and doing things on their own and helping the community same time. So if you are able to do something useful for your Genesis community, you are more than welcome. So thank you guys for your attention. Thank you guys for your time. If you haven't subscribed, my channel yet this is the time to click the subscribe button and hit the bell button to not miss a new series and new episodes about my uh, performance about my work about a coming up project and believe me there will be a lot more interesting things coming up especially for the genesis so stay tuned